Good afternoon, everyone. Um, if you're watching this, uh, then the room, then uh, yes, it is true. Uh, on Jan on June twenty sixth, twenty twenty one, my Twitter account was suspended. Uh, Eleven and a half years uh, have come to an end of the uh, of, uh, of Isaiah L. Carter. First I was Big Dog Audi because that's what I was uh, I was uh, doing at the time. I was selling Audis and then uh, went into a uh, went into the, the field that I'm currently in. Tried to do journalism uh, and that's really where I got my start in politics, right? That's where I, or at least I tried to start a career in politics. I'd always followed politics as a kid. Uh, my family, uh, my, my parents especially, uh, gave me the, um, I guess, some of the tools of the trade that I needed, even though uh, they are conservative in their leanings, uh, they at least gave me a good uh, foundation in terms of understanding how government works and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, that's not why I'm here. Uh, I am confirming that my Twitter account has been suspended. I don't know if it's permanent. I don't know... If it's one of those situations in which they've been telling people, you know, oh, well, we're suspending your, we're, we're suspending your shit, and we don't know how, and like, we're not going to tell you how long it is, uh, or if enough public pressure builds up to where they reinstate my account. I do not know, and quite honestly, at this point, I don't care. And here's why I say I don't care. Because it's become blatantly obvious that Twitter is no longer uh, a safe place for a diversity of thought. It just isn't. It's just not. It, 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 it most certainly is not. Uh... I have tried to see things as clearly and as objectively as possible. And quite frankly, it's not a safe place. It is not a safe place. I said specifically, and I'm paraphrasing uh, my own quote here. I said that Walter White, in regards, you know, uh, 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 in regards to uh, uh, Dan... Danielle Moscato. Uh, he got the, the Danielle Moscato. Walter White got busted for trying to se for trying to sell crystal meth, and he was speaking, or she, because you know apparently, uh, what the fuck is womanhood anymore? Uh, this this guy Moscato was talking about the barbaric nature of prisons. And he was saying this in regards to the 22 and a half year sentence that Derek Chauvin got for murdering George Floyd. Think about that for a second. This guy, this trans woman, Okay, a, ma a guy who has not even transitioned doesn't even bother to, to look like a woman. Just the because I said so energy that this guy has given off is some of the most reprehensible that I've ever seen in my entire life. But apparently referring to this man as Walter White or maybe it's because I called him a man at all 
Because you see, Dan- Danielle Moscato here was discussing, you know, he, he was basically saying that that we needed to abolish prisons, abolish prisons because, you know, a 22 and a half year sentence for a white man who killed a black man by kneeling on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds is apparently too harsh of a crime. I want y'all to think about that for a second. I really want you all to think about that for one fucking minute. White men protect white men at all costs. And as I said at the end of that tweet, tis a train that is never late. I'm not apologizing for what I said. Fuck you. Okay? I'm not apologizing for stating the very clear truth. The Walter White part was referring to, of course, Breaking Bad's Walter White because uh, 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 Moscato here was charged with with possession with intent to distribute crystal meth. Crystal meth. It happened a couple weeks ago. Look it up. Google's free, like they always tell us, right? Google is free. But apparently, my account gets suspended. My account gets suspended for, drum roll please, hate speech. Inciting people to violence against poor little Danielle Moscato, a white man who... Clay, who who appropriated womanhood for his own purposes. Apparently, these are the women that apparently deserve more protection and understanding and more uh, visibility than actual women who are born with XX chromosomes. Right? These are the ones who are apparently worth more in the eyes of white liberals. Worth more in the eyes of these falsely so called uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion in, uh, 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 nonprofit industries. It's a goddamned joke. All of it is a joke. And again, the fact that this happened to me, uh, and again, I'm just a regular person. I'm just a regular guy. Okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not in politics. I'm not in public life. I'm just a regular guy with a blue collar job. I got a I, I got a voice that apparently makes that apparently sounds like an old white man, you know. And for the life of me, I can't understand why I never incited violence. I never incited violence against anyone. I've never been a violent person on Twitter. I am the same person that I've always been on social media. I'm the same person on social media that you'll meet in real life. And I've, and I've, and I've, like, I promised myself that many years ago. But to be taken down in such a manner lets me know two things. One, There is no such thing anymore as free speech. None. None. Whatever this, whatever this, whatever this free speech shit is, whatever this definition is that has, that, that has allowed, um, the extremes to capture it and say, well, you have the right to say this, but you don't, but you don't have the right 
to dictate the consequences of what happens when you say it. Uh, that is a very dangerous thing. People are losing jobs. People are losing platforms. People are losing everything because the if you say anything against these people, if you say anything that goes against their preset narratives, they will find you, they will dox you, they will send, I mean, they'll, they'll do anything. They will do whatever it takes to get you up out of the, uh, to get you up out of the conversation. Because you are a threat to them. You are a threat to white power. And let's be clear. This is an overwhelmingly white, middle-aged, male uh, 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 led movement. It's overwhelming. Three out of four. Three out of four trans-identified males are white and are middle-aged and middle-class to affluent. These are men, these are white men who appropriate womanhood on the weekends. They spend money to be this way. But of course, none of that matters because this is Pride Month and, of, and, and you know, this is where we're all supposed to celebrate visibility and representation and everybody's just supposed to have a great time and you know that's it that's all i'll be honest with you i don't know what the next chapter is uh twitter was a has been a huge part of my life for many years uh it's how i connected to a lot of my interests dc united uh, MLS as a whole, soccer, cult, American soccer culture. I was connected with all of the uh, supporters groups of DC United. Um, I was connected with uh, people regarding um, Big Rob Gillespie, who uh, passed away Sunday. God rest that man's soul. I'm really hurt because of, I'm really hurt by his loss that man was the reason why was the reason why I am a DC United supporter uh, so I got hit with all this stuff like immediately and you know all at once and <sighs> it's not easy to be deplatformed but I'm going to figure out what this means for me. I'm going to find out what it means. I'm going to... Perhaps this means I need to expand my platform. I don't know. I, I, I personally don't know. Pardon the... Uh, pardon the uh, siren that's a... You know... Tuesday afternoon. Busy Brooklyn Street. Um, but honestly... This has told me two things. One, that... The women who who are uh, who are now the top priority in the eyes of the uh, in the eyes of social media, white owned social media, uh, and most progressive circles are the ones who are the men who simply pop up and say, you know, we're women because we say so. They'll beat the shit out of a woman. Cotton ceiling, be damned, all that shit. They don't care. They, they are the women that need protection now, apparently. But not just that. This has really made me question whether I have a future in the Democratic Party. As a Democratic voter. I was a voter. I'm, I'm a Democratic voter. I've donated. Uh, I donated to Biden's campaign. I donated to... Uh, I've donated to human rights campaign in the past. I've donated to Planned Parenthood on multiple occasions. Uh, I think those days are done. 
I really do. I think those days are done because, it's just like I said, one political party in America has perfected, has mastered the art of oppressing women and turning them into what George Carlin called all those years ago, brood mares for the state. The other part, political party in America does not know what a woman actually is. This is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big problem. And it's, and it's become very clear to me that, Repu that the Democrats just don't care. Democrats don't care right now. Democrats could care less. If they lose, they, 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 they are still operating in, they are still operating in the mindset that the only vote that matters is the popular vote. They are not operating from a how do we capture an, a, the electoral college. They are not, they are not operating from that. And they're and they're doing and, and by creating and by making this the culture war that they that they wish to fight. All they are doing is alienating people whose very whose whose motivation for voting was the protection of women, the actual the protection of actual women and their spaces. That is under attack right now, and it's under attack by our own party. And if we don't set, if we don't start saying things right now, I'm talking about being louder than the ones who are making all the noise, finding outlets. These people want to deplatform you. Go to another outlet. Do something else. These people have captured entire industries. Stonewall UK is crumbling because they are one entity that managed to capture the entire nervous system of, as, as Graham Linehan said, they've managed to capture the entire nervous system of industry and culture in the United Kingdom. We have a we have a bigger problem because there are multiple Stonewall organizations like that, and on top of that, the in, the 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 the, the uh, institutions that were meant to protect protect women have basically signed on to trans women are women. They don't want to protect actual women. They want to placate the feelings of men. They want to placate the egos of men. We have become no different than QAnon in our country. Liberals are now no different than QAnon. Congratulations. Because through nothing but say so, a man can call himself a woman and be protected even more than women are themselves, the nat than the the natural born actual women. We deserve to lose in the midterms. We deserve to lose the presidency. We're going to make all the. We're going to make a ton of progress, and we're going to lose everything, and we're going to deserve it, because we forgot what women actually are, and we deserve to pay a heavy political price. You want to hand this country back over to the fascists? Go right ahead. Because that's where we're going, folks. That is where we're going. Anyways, you all have a great day. Um, if you uh, if you want to contact me for anything, um, you can leave a comment, leave a like, message me, whatever you want to do. I'm not hard to find. Uh, but this is not over. Twitter, I'm disgusted by you. Jack Dorsey, I am disgusted by your policy. I am disgusted by, uh, the, pro by, by the way this process took six hours. Six hours from uh, receipt of appeal to rejection. When you've had other people sitting there for months. I see what's happening, Jack. I see what's happening. I don't like it. And... 
the tumblerization of America is apparently continuing apace. Pray for our nation, y'all. Take care.